Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan and this is the Books of Morgan. So I am doing the Stay Home Reading Rush, which is from April 16th to the 19th, and I wanted to share with you all my TBR. But before we continue, I just wanted to point out that I got a new camera and I'm very excited about it. Um, thanks to tax return, that was exactly what I needed. Um, and I'm still kind of getting used to it, so if things are a little wonky or a little bit different, that's why. Um, but I'm very excited to use it. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. It's so much better. I was using my phone before and you could tell. But anyways, I wanted to jump into the Stay Home Reading Rush um, tag video and also my TBR. So I'm going to answer the questions first and then I'll do my TBR at the end. If you want to skip to my TBR and just like don't care about my answers to my questions, totally cool. Um, I'll put the timestamp in the description box down below so when you can, so you can just like skip over to the TBR. Okay, cool. What's really cool is that um, this is a very like shortened version of the reading rush. Usually it happens in the summer and there's all these like uh, video challenges and reading sprints and stuff like that. This is a more chilled down version. Um, this is only four days and there's four different prompts and um, along with that I wanted to create a video um, to go along with the reading rush, so I want to answer the questions that all of the hosts have so kindly left for us for those who want to do some YouTube stuff. And then I'm also going to be um, vlogging for those four days, so that is something to look forward to. Um, so the questions that um, they've left us, they I think there's like six or seven of them, whatever. The first question is, how is your reading going at home? Um, I feel like my reading has not changed at all since being home. Actually, I think it's changed in the sense that I haven't been getting as much work done or as much reading done because usually when I'm reading like during the school year, like I'm taking like trains and I'm t like I have study breaks in between classes and that's well when I'll do my reading. Like home, I get so distracted by everything so I haven't been reading as much like I haven't been super motivated to pick up a book because I have all these distractions around me like my computer. So I have not been getting a lot of reading done which is really, really sad. <laughs> um, but I have been reading books, it's just like not as much as I would normally read. So. Um, and then where have you been reading at home? Whenever I read at home, I only read in two places, and that is my bed and my couch. I don't like to read in like uncomfortable places, I don't read on the floor, I don't read at my desk, like, no. Pillows, comfort, that's where I read. And then the best book that I've read during isolation. So I've actually read really bad books lately. Like I think that's why I haven't been getting as much reading done. Like I keep giving books that I'm reading like two stars, one star, like two and a half stars. Like I've been reading really bad books and I don't know how to change that. Um, but let me check my Goodreads to see if I have read any good books. So yeah, the best book that I've read at home is The Romance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. I gave it four and a half stars. It was just like a really fun, easy read for me. And it was very comforting <laughs> also. So that was good. Um, what is your favorite feel-good book? So my favorite feel-good book is definitely Well Met by Jen DeLuca. If you haven't read this book, what are you doing? Please go read it. It is so awesome. This is my favorite romance novel. It is a rom-com. It just like gives me all the warm and fuzzies that I need. It has my favorite romance tropes in here. It's enemies to lovers. There's a renaissance fair, so it has to do with history. And I love this book so, so much. And it literally the entire time when I read it, it like I had a smile on my face. So if you want a good, feel good book, this is the one. This is good. But you have to like romance. If you don't like romance, you're not gonna like this one. Next question, the next question is a book you wish you could buy or borrow from the library right now and <sighs> that's a hard question because I feel like the quarantine has actually forced me to really take a look at my backlist and I'm very happy with the books that I have on my shelf like there's not any book that I'm like yes I need that ASAP I need to borrow it immediately um I guess the one book that I would have liked to have had a physical copy of was The Last Wish by Andrew Sapkowski. Um, that was my book club 
um, book for this month and I wanted to have a physical copy of it but I just actually bought the um, ebook version of it I mean it was only eight dollars but I would have preferred to have a physical copy I just didn't want to buy it like I haven't been buying books I mean I ordered my book of the month box but that's about it <laughs> um, but yeah um, and then an author you want to shout out during this time and I would like to shout out Tessa Dare because her books have given me so much comfort in the past like those are just straight up like comfort reads um, it's um, historical romances and they're so cheesy sometimes but they also have like female empowerment and all that jazz in there and I really enjoy those books that she has a bunch of different ones I've read a couple of them by her um, so if you're looking for something to just take your mind off of things, those are really good and it transports you back in time a little bit, which is always fun if you like some escapism. And then the last question is my Reading Rush TBR. So we're going to get through that. There are four different prompts and I have three books to show you. Also, I'm so sorry if my lighting keeps changing, like the clouds are being ridiculous right now. But anyways. Um, so the first challenge is to read a book with a house on the cover and I'm going to be reading Under the Tuscan Sun by Frances Mays. This is a non-fiction memoir about Frances's life in Tuscany when she has to move there for her husband's work I believe and then she renovates this Tuscan villa. So it's her whole thing on that. She's a writer. She wrote essays on like food and travel and all that stuff for a bunch of different magazines and stuff. Um, so I'm assuming she's a really good writer. This is a super old book. I think this is from like 1994. Okay, yeah, this book was from 1996. So it's pretty old. And then there's a movie about it. Have not seen the movie, but it does have a house on the cover right there. As you can see. <laughs> um, and then I'm also choosing this book for another prompt. And that is read a book set somewhere you wish you could go. And I would love to be in Italy. I would love to be in Tuscany. Well, I, hold on. Not Italy right now. I would like to go to Tuscany at some point in my life. I've been to Italy. I lived there for four months when I studied abroad, but I only stayed in Rome. I did travel to other places in Italy, but I never made my way over to Tuscany. And where I've always wanted to go, the food and wine there are like famous and I would really like to be somewhere warm too. Um, so yeah, I'm choosing Under the Tuscan Sun. Tuscany sounds great right now, honestly. Well, under the circumstances. <laughs> okay. And then reading a book in the same room the whole time, which is something that I always do. But I actually chose a short book for this one. Um, not that Under the Tuscan Sun was very long, but I am reading Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding. I love the movie. It is great. I mean, Hugh Grant, Colin Firth, like they are everything. So I'm going to read this and okay this is like less than 300 pages my plan is just to read this in my bed the entire time so my bed or my couch no i'm gonna do it in my bed i'm gonna do it in my room <laughs> yeah i'm gonna read this book in my room the whole time yeah hopefully it's as good as the movie if not better Okay, and then the last book that I'm going to read for the reading rush is a book that will make you smile. And I just know, I haven't read this book yet, this is not a reread, I just know that Treed by Emily Henry is going to make me smile so hard. This was my um, April book of the month pick, so this is, hasn't even come out yet. Um, actually, the release date is in May, if I'm not mistaken. And I have heard so many great things about this book, like people adore it. Um, it is a romance between two authors and I just know it's going to make me as happy as Well Met made me happy. So that's why I picked this one to make me smile. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're joining the reading rush, Let's do some reading sprints together. I'm so excited to see all of your TBRs. Have a good one. Bye.